In the previous video, uh, I talked a bit about how uh, different choices uh, of the potential energy operator here uh, leads to different applications of the Schrodinger equation. So for example, you get the hydrogen atom by, uh, described by choosing the potential energy as the attraction of the electron uh, to the proton. You get the particle in a box uh, by setting the potential to zero in one region and then to some constant value. Uh, in another region of length L, or you get the harmonic oscillator by setting the potential energy operator uh, to a spring, uh, a Hooke's law constant, where the potential depends quadratically on the distance, for example, a bond length. And I also mentioned that uh, the wave function uh, that you get uh, from solving the Schrodinger equation uh, is related to the probability or the probability density, which another name for that is the, is the amplitude. Uh, finally, I mentioned that you get uh, not just one solution, but uh, several solutions to the Schrodinger equation with different energies. And I want to show you some examples, some one-dimensional examples here uh, of, these, uh, of these three solutions. So here I have uh, the particle in the box, so you have uh, a particle moving in a potential that's zero uh, here in the middle and then goes up to some constant value here uh, at the edges. And so this has a length L here in the previous equation. Okay, and as you see, you get several solutions. Uh, this is the lowest energy solution, uh, n equals zero. And you can see the wave function on top and the wave function scared, uh, squared, or the amplitude here. So this is the wave function, this is the wave function squared, or the amplitude. And so you can see the lowest energy, energy solution uh, is just, has just one bump, the next highest has two bumps, three bumps, uh, and so forth. In fact, you can think of this a little bit like an s orbital, a p orbital, a d orbital, and so forth, because what they have in common is the number of nodes. So for a node is where the wave function passes through zero. So this has no nodes, one node, two nodes, and so forth. Uh, as you can see, when you go very far up, uh, the probability, uh, the amplitude uh, of being in a particular part of the box becomes more and more equal. Uh, so you can imagine uh, if you go, if you had a deeper well with more solutions, that eventually the probability density would be completely uniform. That would mean that you have an equal probability of finding the particle anywhere in the box, which in fact is what you would expect from a classical particle moving back and forth uh, here. So this is known as the Copenhagen interpretation, uh, and that says that for very high energy solutions of the Schrodinger equation, you'll get a picture that's very similar uh, to the classical picture. In this particular case, an equal probability uh, of finding the particle everywhere. So for heavier particles, the wavelength here will be even shorter, and so you can't really tell that the probability of finding a particle oscillates, and so the probability will look uniform. Anyway, so this is the particle in a box. Um, this is the harmonic oscillator, so now the potential varies as the square uh, of the displacement from the lowest energy point, and as you can see, the, here is the lowest energy solution, the next highest and so forth. So you can see it actually looks quite a bit like the particle in the box. Uh, but the wave function or the probability uh, is now much more localized towards the middle. Okay, and so here are the various solutions. Uh, finally, we have at the one-dimensional equivalent of the hydrogen atom. So now the potential goes as 1 over the distance from the center. So this would be, for example, the distance from the proton to the electron. Here is the lowest energy solution, next highest solution, and so forth. 
So as you can see in these one-dimensional examples, the wave functions, the wave function solutions actually looks look quite similar. Uh, what you can't see is and what is the main difference between the particle in the box, the harmonic oscillator, and this uh, Coulomb well is that the energy level spacings are very, very different. So the spacings are quite big, very, very big in the Coulomb well, smaller in the harmonic oscillator, and very, very small uh, in the particle in the box.